what's up you guys it's your girl that girl to shout and i'm back with another video hi you guys i missed you it's been like forever like i feel like i haven't been recording or playing sims in about like a week and a half or two weeks or something like that but if you guys watched my last video you know last week was my birthday or i don't even know when i'm posting this my birthday was in march y'all so i was busy getting lit you know doing some red stuff you know whatever whatever but yes your girl is back and i'm ready to record and you guys we are back with the project people this is in the hood if you guys are new to my channel welcome make sure you hit that like button that subscribe button and go back and watch the whole series also make sure you guys check out my other series projects the penthouse especially season one because it tells you a lot like you'll learn a lot about the people here if you watch that series all right and if you've been here before welcome back but you guys so since I've been, like, not playing and I had, like, so much time to, like, think and come up with ideas and stuff, you guys. So, I decided that with this series, I am going to try to focus on one person at a time because, y'all, it's so many people in this freaking household, okay? And I want to show everyone some love. I feel like I kind of, like, always play with, like, the same few characters, like back here we got quincy and y'all i never played with quincy so we're gonna give him some love eventually and you know like chantel maya like i never played with them so we are going to designate each episode to one person i do also want to like go into like the different projects because i do have more projects and like interact with those people and maybe even like play with them like mm, we'll see um <laughs> so yeah you guys but in this episode i decided that i'm gonna start off with playing with malik and if you guys know malik is a promoter well he's trying to be like he only really threw i feel like one or two parties like he threw that costume party and he had like another party where he like invited all the girls but this is like his first like real like regular party like all the baddies gotta be there like you know this is like the official official start of like his actual career like I'm so happy for him I hope it goes well anyway so we're gonna be doing that tonight we have a party planned but you guys it's been so long you guys did not meet the babies let me show you guys the babies before we get started so you guys this is tt baby um i think her name is like samantha or something but i'm gonna change their names like i said i haven't really been playing so i haven't had a chance to like really like give them new names and stuff but they will be getting new names because i don't like the names that the game generated for them but this is tt and malik's baby yes they had a daughter i feel like everyone had girls which i guess is great for them um and then you guys so this is um erica and malik's wait what did i say before tt all right y'all see it's too much going on y'all they babies baby daddy business or whatever tt and malik had a baby no tt and tyreek had a baby together and erica and malik had a baby together yeah that's what happened so this is erica and malik's baby girl her name is tiara right now but again i'm gonna change their names i'll probably change their names like when they become like a toddler because honestly i could care less about the babies right now to be honest anyway but yeah you guys like i said today is mo mainly about malik oh i forgot one thing you guys, I really forgot one little thing, and that is we have a new uh, housemate, neighbor, whatever you want to call. So, y'all, I know I was like how it's too many people. I can't control these many sims. It's too much, and that's the truth. It is too much, but, you know, I just felt like they needed someone else in here. Like, we needed someone to come in and spice things up a little bit because I feel like they like all kind of know each other we already know who hate who what's what like we kind of already know what they're gonna give so i was just like you know what we need to add somebody in here who gonna you know shake things up a little bit 
so so you guys this is lana lana lopez she is puerto rican and dominican period mm -hmm. this our latin mommy period um she just moved here y'all she is filled with freaking drama and I cannot wait, okay, for you guys to, like, catch all the tea, for, like, all this stuff to happen. Because, y'all, she, mm, mm And she's already become my friends with TT low-key. So, I love that. Y'all, she's a whole adult. But, like, she really still thinks, like, she's young. She is really trying to live her life. Like, she's really trying to live her life, like, with no responsibilities, nothing like you know but like i told you guys this day is about this man right here this man right here malik and yeah so hey malik <laughs> but you guys i am gonna let them go through this day because the party is i believe is at like eight o'clock tonight maybe oh six is that six yeah, you guys, so the party starts at 6 o'clock tonight. I was going to play the whole day through, but honestly, I feel like I really have nothing else for them to do other than, you know, ew, other than, like, you know, going to work and to school and all that stuff. So, I will see you guys when 6 o'clock hit. few moments later. Hey, okay, guys, so the party is about to start soon oh my gosh this is embarrassing but yeah i just really had them like clean up get some sleep all that stuff i just had them hire a nanny for the babies so hopefully a nanny. it says a nanny's coming at 5 44 but uh hello where's the nanny let's get it started okay guys we made it to the lot I used this lot before. It's the Palms. Um, I will leave the link to it in the description box below. So this is the venue that I was going to use. And I love it. It's like an underground theme. It's like really nice and cute. But I'm like, hmm. Like, I feel like Malik would not be able to afford this right now as well. Like, I want this to still be like realistic. Like, this is giving me like you spent money. Like, you know, like. You spent bread. He ain't got that. All right, so let's go inside. All right, heard y'all. Everybody popping out, taking pictures. Hold on. I see Tyreek getting mad. We about to send him home. Cause y'all already know this venue right here is. Let's have him go inside and get a drink, honestly. Because y'all know this venue is a bad luck for my guy. Like. He will be dead by the end of the night. So let's let's actually order drinks for everyone. Like let's start with vodka soda. Um yeah you guys there is a freaking mod for party planners, but it wasn't working when I tried, so I have to like move some things around to like fix it. So the next party that he throws will officially be with that mod. But for now, y'all already know how Sims get down. Imagination is key. Ooh, who did she find the track? All right, not the bartender. All right. Ooh, let's have um. I'm gonna have Malik scope out his surroundings. Because he needs to, like, talk to all the people, see if there's, like, any cute, you know, any potential people, any potential girls or whatever. Oh, see, this is what I mean, y'all. Y'all thought I was lying. Tariq is literally a hot boy. He freaking finds everybody here attractive. Like... Literally every female in the room he finds attractive, except for her, cause she's still like a teenager. So you know he ain't trying to, you know, <laughs> he ain't trying to go to jail. But y'all, the mess. See, I already knew. And by the way, you guys, he already slept with Lana, and y'all, <laughs> I would have shown you guys like while I was like letting the game go on, he slept with her, and I was like, okay, but. 
me I know I didn't want to be that messy first of all bring mom to here cause y'all didn't invite her yeah I need y'all to get drunk and wait since Lana just got here showed up mad late but that's the right girl make an entrance like who shows up to the party on time hmm? nobody losers period and she's about to go dance. See? And y'all, of course, I brought my good sis Deja back because she had to be taken out like that. Like. <laughs> Ooh, who likes? Let me find out Quincy in the stripper. He's by. Heard you. Who's sick? All right. Now she want to be sick. Wait, what? Y'all, she's a little huh? Okay, whatever. Good sis is back here getting... Y'all, what is this? Why is she like that? Can y'all dance or something? Like, y'all just stand around like crazy people. Um... Let me have Malik start it off, maybe. I lowkey wish this place had, like, hookah. So they could smoke. Yes, her job. First of all, she's mad freaking pretty. Wait, Malik, stop dancing. Come talk to her. What the heck kind of music is this? Well, I'm gonna have him flirt with her. Um, good sis, go to the freaking bathroom. Like, what the heck? Wait, is this the uh, place where the bathroom is broken? Stop. I freaking hate it here. Okay, guys. So, I got rid of most of them speakers because they were loud. And it was not letting me turn the volume down. Even in my settings. Like, I put the music all the way down. And it still was blasting in my freaking ear. So. And I gave them a door for the bathroom. But I'm about to hire a freaking DJ. Wait, let me have Malik do it. You go chat with Brandy. Oh, Lana is in the corner by herself. Y'all, I heard getting sick. Guys, I'm such a freaking idiot. Like, I forgot to put my, like, streamer mod in. <laughs> and so, like, I'm playing with them. And next thing you know, they're, like, butt naked. I'm like, okay. Like, so, you guys, I have to be very careful. Before YouTube kicked me off the platform. <laughs> Um, why is she ain't trying to talk to us? Hello? We trying to talk to you, sis. Like, what's good? How you doing? How you doing, ma? Like, <laughs> let's do a pickup line. Um, here, Tariq. Come get... Where the freak is the bartender? Hello? Hello? Hello. Um. <gasps> Y'all, they have hookah upstairs. We're doing hookah. I, I just sounded like a whole freaking bird. Took them out. They have hookah. Like, who do I think I am? Let me hire a mixologist. Honestly, no. Let me be too specific because y'all will have some crazy looking person coming up here. Let's have her. I feel like I always hire her. Why is she stealing? Y'all, we cannot take her anywhere. Y'all, everybody is getting sick. Stop. Look, y'all, look at their meter. Like, they hit it off mad quick. Like, come on, flirt with her some more. All right, sis, get some. Oh, we can't even freaking get drinks. We can't get drunk. All right, y'all, it's him being so freaking angry for me. Like, go sit by yourself. Like, I'm about to send him home because I'm tired of my parties ending in a freaking death. Okay, like, no, I'm over that. Who and Darius came? We don't even really, Alexis, don't mess with him no more. So, he is up for freaking grabs. Like, Um, let's see. 
Uh uh, not, not him sneezing on her. Ooh, I think she might be jealous because they have like a romantic relationship. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh no, she's just sick. Never mind. I'm like, she probably saw him flirting with the other girl. I was like, what is going on? All right, Malik. What the heck? All right, I'm gonna have Malik tend the bar until. Not all my Sims getting sick. What the heck is going on? Is it cold? It's the Rona. It's the Rona. Y'all, this is freaking ghetto. But I'm going to have Malik in the bar until the freaking bartender come. Because we want to get drunk. <gasps> Christopher and Deja. Y'all, it's them in the bathroom for me. I cannot. I like how... The DJ didn't come. The bartender didn't come. Nothing. I freaking hate it here. Can we get a drink? Like, I put, um, whatever his name is, Quincy, to, um, make the drinks. And I don't think he really can make drinks like that. But look. He probably never made a drink in his life, but he all we got. Everybody is sick, y'all. I don't know. You know what? I forgot. I put the private practice mod in my game. So maybe that's why they're getting sick. Like, so easy. Y'all, I really cannot. Let's ask him about his weekend. Because Chantel needs a man, too. Like, let's see about her for Malik. Because I want Malik to get a girl that's, like, not from in the house. Like, everybody that he, like, messes with for real lives in his building. Like, I want him to have a girl from, like, outside his building. Wait, who he beef with so much? I'm over here, like, who does he have such a bad relationship with? Like, who is that? Oh, that was a glitch. Because <laughs> what the heck? Oh! <gasps> Not her trying to steal his money. Stop. First of all, Maya, go mind your business. Like, that's not your man for real. Like, <laughs> come get a drink. The girl's getting drunk for me. This is what I like to see. All right? This is what I like to see right here. Getting drunk. Yes. That's what I'm like. Yes. Yes, sis. Sick and all, we still get drunk. Like, he trying to talk to this girl. Let's just exchange numbers with her. Because clearly, they don't want Malik to be great. Whoever brung this sickness into our lives can, like, jump off a cliff. Like, for real. Like, ugh. I am like, ugh. Numbers. Uh-uh. Don't get her sick, though. Let's see if she feeling the boy. Can we bring this up? Yes, she is feeling the kid. She like, yo, this my new boo. Hmm. Is Chantel stealing from the club for me? Like, we can never have nice things. Chantel, get out the freaking bathroom. Because you out here stealing and fight. I'm so mad the freaking DJ never showed up and we paid for that. Like, I'm definitely putting the money. I know he lying. Sir, I know you not outside playing in no freaking rain. It's everybody. Uh, uh, all right, we about to end this freaking party. She is sneezing on everybody. She has to go. All right, y'all. Oh, wait. Let me let Tariq smoke first. Because he deserves it. Like, he's been dealing with a lot. <laughs> Mind you, he calls most of his issues. But, you know, we still love him. Where the heck is Lana? Y'all, Lana keep going to this corner by herself. Like, 
She like, y'all over here sneezing and stuff. I don't got time. Here, come talk to Darius. Let me have her. Let's have her do a horny introduction. She's not horny, but, you know. For some reason, they don't give me the option for a flirty introduction. See, this is that toxic relationship that TT and Malik have. Like, they will dead be talking to other people, doing other stuff, and boom, still come back to messing with each other. And they don't even, like, have feelings for each other romantically like that. Like, it's really just, like, they be like, boom, 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 and then, like, go about their business. So, honestly, right now, we are not doing it. Like, we are not, like, y'all, it's, like, freaking uh, a hospital, like, I'm gonna have to, like, send all of my sims to the hospital, for real, for real, y'all, I'm trying to get him to smoke, and here come his wife, messing with him, girl, if y'all been here, y'all know, she was sleeping with Quincy, okay, like, she started this whole mess. Erica, the one who acts all innocent, like she don't do nothing. Yeah, her. She was sleeping with Quincy, and then boom, people just started joining their little fest. But she was, she was the reason why everything happened, and she ended up getting pregnant by, by Malik, and why Tariq ended up getting TT pregnant. That whole thing was low key an accident. But it started because she was being a little, you know, thotty trying to get revenge on her husband. And yeah, like come on. And they have, like, bad sentiments. They both been cheating on each other. Like, honestly, I'm ready for them to get a freaking divorce. And here come Maya. Maya won't let him live. Like, she's that girl. Like, he really made her feel. But you know what? He made her feel like they was going to be together one day. And then, boom. He's like, mm, not feeling it. All right, y'all. I'm about to end the party because now everyone's just kind of like standing around. Malik's first event, <laughs> his first official event was a freaking flop. Half the people that I invited did not even show up. So, yeah. We are gonna go back home and I'm going to, um,. Give everybody appointments to the doctor because they freaking need it. So I will see you guys back at the crib. It says appointment schedule. It's my first time using this mod, by the way, you guys. So I'm trying to figure it out as I go. It says, so sorry to hear that you are not feeling well. You should most definitely come by so that you can we can evaluate your illness and assist you as best we can. Our next available opening for you to be seen is in 30 minutes. A sick leave from your school slash workplace is already in order. So, do we just go? Like, or are they going to tell us when to go? Today is your health day. We are going to do a full evaluation of your health. So, we are notifying your school and or job that you can... That they can give you a sick leave. No need to call in. Okay, you guys. So, we made it to the hospital, y'all. If I told you guys how ghetto this thing is. Like, for real. So, I brought them here before. And freaking Tariq was having a freaking... He literally died again from a heart attack. Because he don't like these sims. Like... And then I couldn't send him home. So, I had to, like, redo the thing. It's just too much. Let's get to this. I'm going to have them check in. Because them being sick is starting to get on my nerves. So, I wonder if I have to have them check in individually. Oh, no. I think it's just one. I need to keep an eye on him because he will die, you guys. Like, for real. All right, so we're checked in. So it says, I sure hope you need to use the bathroom because we are going to need you to pee in a cup for your analysis. Please head over to the nearest toilet and complete this task. Once done, drop your cup off at the nearest sample cart and then wait for the next available wellness kiosk that will show that will allow us to check your blood pressure and weight. All right, so now I gotta make everybody go pee in a cup. Y'all, this seems like a lot. Do y'all have enough bathrooms for everybody? Uh, where are the freaking bathrooms? Um, hello? These motherfuckers got two bathrooms. Alright, who actually has to pee? This is freaking stressful. 
Not her with the cup already. I freaking love this mod, you guys. Also, when I first brought them here, I didn't have them locked down as a generic lot. So make sure you put your lot down as generic if you do um use this mod. Oh, they're going on their own. Um, never mind. They're just sitting there. Okay. Oh, they did do it. Yes. <gasps> They're doing it on their own. I freaking love that. Okay. See, this I like. Yeah. Go go check y'all stuff. Um, sis, I thought you was down with down with it like Is he coming to do his? Cuz you definitely need to check yours, sir. Cuz you be pressed. Y'all all coming over here? Nope. Some of y'all just couldn't care less about your health, huh? Come on over. Come on. I like how, like, once you get them rolling, they're kind of, like, doing it on their own. That's fine. You can pass out. As long as you don't have a heart attack, we're good with that. Like, oh, two of them passed out. All right. Hello? Where Where were you? Like, see, this is what I be saying. Like, if y'all were to set your asses in the waiting room, we wouldn't have this issue. Come on, TT, come sit, because you about to pass out next. And watch this man. I think it's Quincy, for real. Like, him and Quincy really don't get along to the point where, like, he sees this man and he is ready to, like, die, like. Yeah, they are freaking passing out. It's not their fault though. Like, look what time it is, y'all. Look at what freaking time it is. Because this game wanna be stupid. Just give us our results, please, so we can leave. They're gonna be starved. Sorry, Lana, you just got here already. I'm not taking care of you. First of all, Oh, she's protected against the flu. Okay. Heard you. <laughs> Maya's like, wonder what I should eat today, sis. I wonder too, because I'm not feeding you. So, okay. I'm a little confused. So they have a flu shot. Does that mean they're going to get better? All right, so Jayla has a flu shot. So far, everyone has a healthy weight. Jayla has high blood pressure. Titi has normal blood pressure. Quincy has high. These people be stressed, y'all. Lana has normal blood pressure and healthy weight. She took her flu shot. Y'all, who? Why? Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> y'all, my Sims are freaking struggling right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to. All right, he's still giving people their results. I want to go to the festival of snow. Like, nah. But hello, for real. They need more beds. Like, I feel like this is accurate, though. This is how it feels in the hospital. Like, you're like, y'all only got one doctor back there, and that's how it feels right now. <sighs> Not her smoking in the hospital, sis. Do you, do you not realize you're supposed to tell the doctor that you don't smoke? And here you go, smoking in front of them. Hmm. Man, somebody should have told her. Okay, Malik has healthy weight and he has normal blood pressure. Because he be too busy, you know, being a thought. He don't got time for stress. I feel like Maya is low-key trying to send stress his way. Oh snap, J Lo's about to pass out. Okay. So Maya took her flu shot. And she is overweight. You fat bitch. No. <laughs> Since you wanna be having issues with everybody, maybe you should focus on your body, sis. Is how I feel. Honestly, I don't know if this sickness they had was relevant to the doctor I sent them to, to be honest. 
We need a couple more tests in order for the doctor to give you an accurate diagnosis. Please follow me to the treadmill and then the x-ray machine. <gasps> She's probably dying. <sighs> Imagine. Y'all. Yeah. Uh-uh. They all got to get on the treadmill. Y'all, this is going to take too freaking long. What did they say about Tyreek? <gasps> Tyreek is fat and he has high blood pressure. <gasps> They want to see him again in seven days. Tariq is freaking... This is why he's always freaking dying. Tariq and... And, and Erica too. Erica is overweight and has high blood. Y'all need to get y'all freaking lives together. These Sims be out here having issues with everybody and their mama. Whole time they dying. Like, Hello. Loki though, honestly, I'm gonna skip through most of this because y'all, it is nine of them. And to get them all to do all this is going to be a lot, okay? And I have to wait for someone to come and get us. If it's the same one doctor, it's gonna take forever. Like, y'all have two machines. Can y'all get some more doctors is my whole thing. Yeah, Maya. Yeah. Yeah. This is why it's taking you so long to walk up these stairs, too. Yeah, we're going to focus on Maya and Chantel in the next episode because look at her. I mean, her shape isn't, I mean, her shape is bad, but, like, she's not, like, too, 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 um, like, fat. <gasps> Jayla got caught being high again. She about to get sent to rehab. Girl, you better stop. <gasps> Stop! She about to go. All right, I'm about to mind my business because, excuse me, sis, excuse me. Honestly, you guys, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. This just seems like a lot. Honestly, <laughs> I feel like this mod is cute. All right, let me go this way because clearly Jayla is over there doing something. You guys, I feel like this mod is super cute. I feel like if you play with like one or two Sims, like or like a smaller household, or even I feel like if I would have brought them here like one at a time, like a few at a time, it would have been so much better. But trying to have all of these people get taken care of at once was not a smart idea for me. So you guys, I am gonna end this video right here. I'm going to finish them off and make sure they're all better by the next time. That way we can have fun and turn up. Have a grand old time because I cannot. Like, this is stressing me out. But yeah, you guys, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see in this series moving forward. I kind of already told you guys what I plan on doing. I do have another series coming out really soon. It's going to be a supernatural one. Look, he's still trying to get them to do treadmill tests. It's going to be a supernatural series. I'm kind of excited about that only because I've never played with like any of the like different occults in The Sims. It's just not like I personally don't have an issue with like vampires and stuff just in The Sims. I don't think it's done that well and they're like kind of annoying especially like the vampires and stuff so I just never played with it so I want to do a series with that I kind of already started like working on it and it's basically almost ready to go so that'll be out soon but yeah let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want to see on this channel and I will see you guys in the next one bye